Hello and welcome everybody, this is your video game news for the day. This time I got more Nintendo news about Majora's Mask 3D, ooh, and also some news about Mario Party 10. But anyway, also I'm ill again. So, <coughs> As we say in this industry, roll title card! Hello everybody, I'm your host Rocky2815, but please just call me Rocky. So we've got a lot of news to get through today, so let's get on with the show. So first of all, look, we got some brand new spanking news from the Nintendo Direct, and also a brand new video game has been revealed. So... so Games supporting the classic controller can also be played using the Wii U gamepad controller. Switch to a Wii mode on the Wii U. Have no idea what this means. No idea. People will have to tell me. Free titles will be available for half price for one week after their release. So we are getting official Wii titles on Wii U virtual so we're getting like Wii Virtual Console on the Wii U sort of thing. But anyway, we've got Super Mario Galaxy 2 available after presentation, which means it just came out after the Nintendo Direct or after this bit of the Nintendo Direct. Next up, available on January 22nd, punch -out! And last but not least, the Metroid Prime Trilogy. So that's one, two, and three coming out January 29th. So I mean to the Nintendo eShop for Wii U. Also, uh, come into the Nintendo eShop, I'm not sure if it's just digital, but it probably won't be, is the Pokemon Shuffle game for Nintendo 3DS. Okay, everybody, I forgot one more thing. Now, unfortunately, I do not have the image anymore. I'm not sure where it's gone, but it's probably accidentally got deleted. But there is a new Fire Emblem game coming out officially. Um, no title, it just said, new to the Fire Emblem series. Okay, hope you liked all that news about the Wii U and the new video game that's been revealed, ooh. Right, second up, more news about Kirby and the Rainbow Canvas. Okay, people, next up is Kirby and the Rainbow Canvas Curse game. Here is some gameplay footage that was shown in Nintendo Direct. I'm not sure if it was already shown like in the trailer or if it was shown last year, but just here is some footage. Well, not footage, but a picture. But also, if you see in the top left corner above where it says 13 out of 100 stars is um, a meter. That is officially known as the ink meter. If the ink meter runs out, you won't be able to draw the colourful bridges you can see under curb. Yes, you can use each compatible amiibo once per day on one stage only. Touch your Kirby, King DDD or Meta Knight amiibo to the NFC touchpoint and Kirby will power up. But anyway, on to the next one. So we have got some more gameplay footage here of some sort of stage in a tree trunk? I'm not sure why. But it slightly reminds me of the Great Deku Tree from Legend of Zelda. Not sure which version of Deku Tree, of course. Um, you can see the um, clay Kirby style. And also, I watched well. But anyway, these are figurines that can be collected, but also. The little thing with the music symbol, you can also get music symbols out of those treasure chests that are in the level. So here we have got no idea who it, who it is. And here we've got a special figurine shelf, which the figurines will go on. So we've got Nonsect Bug. And here's the music menu where you'll be able to change your music. Third on the list, we have got official news of the Wave 3 and Wave 4 Nintendo Amiibo figures, so I hope you're high. Okay, everybody, here's the official Amiibo news. Here is the Wave 3 Amiibo, so we got King Diddy, Rosalina, Bowser, Sonic, Mega Man, Toon Link, Sheik, Ike, um, I've forgotten 
the guy who's next to Ike on the right. Um, we got Lucario, we got Meta Knight, which will all be available in February. I think that's Robin. I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with the Fire Emblem Awakening series or Fire Emblem series in general. Then we got. Is this Lady Marvel or Lucina? I can't remember. Anyway, we've got Pac-Man, we've got Wario. And then we have got... This is Ness, isn't it? I think it's odd on the end here. But that's all the Amiibo news I got for you, so... Okay, everybody, I hope you liked that Wave 3 and 4 Amiibo news. Next, which is number 4 on the list... We have got a new Donkey Kong Mario Miniland game. So I'll see you on that computer to show you the photo images and talk about it. Okay, here's the new Donkey Kong Mario Miniland game. So we've got actual level here at the moment. I'm not sure if it's one that's been built by someone or... If it's actual level, but you can see we got robotic Donkey Kong, a robotic Mario, some sort of coin over here. Um, I'm not sure if my mouse cursor will come up, but the coin is directly to the right of the Wind Up Donkey Kong. Onto the next image, we have image of the gamepad showing you stretch out. I think that's a girder bridge, and then we got Princess Peach. And then two more Donkey Kongs, and just above the first Donkey Kong, who's next to Princess Peach on the right, looking up, there's some sort of little bubble showing Mario's face, and I think my toolbar just came up again. Sorry about that. On to the next image. This is the actual place where you get to make your own level, so I think that's pretty cool. I think this will appear on the gamepad, probably. And... Apart from being available for the Wii U, it will be available for the 3DS, so... But also, uh, there's a little special thing, so if you get the Wii U version, you'll get a free download code for the 3DS version, and if you get the 3DS version, you'll get a free download code for the Wii U version. So, I think that's really great, so you don't have to necessary buy the game separately but I think the download code might be only available if you actually download one of the games off the eShop but I think you might be able to get the download code with a physical copy but anyway on to the last bit so Mario vs Donkey Kong Tipping Stars will be available March 5th okay I hope you liked that news about Donkey Kong and Mario because I'm sure I did because there is no main series Mario game as far as I know coming out this year <clears throat> Anyway number five on the list more Mario Party 10 news finally We haven't seen anything about that in ages Anyway, let's get on Okay, everybody here's the Mario Party 10 news so as you can see on the screen We've got the gamepad with Bowser's arm, and this is Bowser mode. So, it looks like the aim of this part of Bowser mode is to smash all the characters, and it looks like they each have six health and some sort of hit count in the middle. I don't know. But anyway, on to the next image. We have got... Now, this is Amiibo Extras bit. Uh, so, we've got tokens and we've got base. Now... If you're wondering why there's a red base, I will explain that in a later image. But also we get different boards based on different characters. So we got one of Mario. There's Mario ones again, but it shows Mario, Luigi, Rosaline and Peach, which are compatible amiibos. We got a Yoshi board. We got another gameplay footage piece of some water based activity but also I think there is a Luigi and Peach board possibly Rosalina and Bowser I'm not sure but anyway here is another image of gameplay again have no idea what this is because I've only played one of the games and I can't remember which one it was but I'm not able to explain everything really well <laughs> and yes I did take these as screenshots off the official Nintendo Direct stream, which was, of course, I was watching the stream through 
HMK, again, link in the description to his YouTube channel. And then here have other links like to his, um, well, all his social media and stuff like that. But we've got a special mode called Amiibo Party. There are going to be special Super Mario Amiibos. And that's why you saw that Peach Amiibo earlier with the red base. So these are the special Super Mario Amiibos going to be available March 20th. We have got from left to right Mario, Luigi, Peach and Yoshi. And these are special Super Mario Amiibos that can only work on Mario Party 10 I do believe. And then we got a special Bowser and Toad one. But also there are other compatible um, Amiibos but from Smash Bros. So we got Rosalina, the Donkey Kong and Wario. But... There's a bit of a trick to this. If you, for instance, have used your Donkey Kong Amiibo with your Smash game and you've leveled him up in Smash and you want to put him into the uh, Mario Party 10 game, you have to erase all Smash Bros. data off that uh, Smash Bros. Amiibo. Yes, I know it sounds ridiculous, but anyway, on to the next thing. We've got a special Mario Party... 10 limited edition which will come of course with game and the Mar super mario amiibo and it will be available on march 10th along with the new super mario okay i hoped you liked that mario pie 10 news so what is number six on the list you may ask hmm do we have an update to the captain to treasure tracker video game so let's get Okay, here's some Captain Toad news update. So, once you update the game, be some sort of hide-and-seek mode, I believe, and you'll be able to find these pixel toads that are hidden around the level. I'm not sure how many, but from the footage I saw, there was only one hidden in the level. Okay, so, on to the next one. Well, next piece of information about this game so update available march 20th and the way to activate the function that i just showed you with the pixel toad hide and seek thing you will need the toad super mario amiibo i knew that was going to have amiibo functions the captain toad game but i didn't know they were referring to these particular different amiibos which are different from the smash amiibos but that's basically it for the Captain Toad use and okay I hope you like that update on the Captain Toad treasure tracker so remember to be expecting that update coming March 20th and on the list we have got news and confirmation and images about the new Nintendo 3DS console you know okay here is some photos of the Majora's Mask game being played on the new 3DS XL and it's comparing it to the old 3DS XL and as you can see in the right hand corner of the new one it has got face tracking 3D so basically I think that what that means is whatever angle you look it from it will always be 3D and not fuzzy but um, the AC adapter from any of these systems will work for the new 3DS XL so if you've got a cable from the 2DS the 3DS well, the current 3DS or the f current 3DS XL or the DSi XL or the DSi, it will work on the new system. It will be available on February 13th. That's awfully soon. Also, it's got built-in Amiibo support and NFC support. I'll explain what that is a bit later. And here we have got the face tracking 3D function. So face position recognizing camera. So I guess the red and blue lights represent that the person that's playing it. And the yellow light represents someone who's actually watching while the 3D is on. And then this represents just one person that's playing the game, but has decided to turn it at a different angle, but it, the 3D is still following their face. Just explained, faster processing power than its predecessors, and also this mysterious grey button I shall tell you what is in a minute. 
Also, new Nintendo 3DS XL hardware update to allow Amiibo functions planned for February, so I guess the day it comes out. Improved internet surfing. This new little function is called the C-Stick for enhanced control. So in-game, just give you a little tap or touch or something like that, and you'll be able to do a full 360 degree! So, like, let's say you're sneaking around in Majora's Mask, and you're in some dungeon, but you want to look around the corner, you can use the C-Stick to look around the corner. How cool is this? Instructions on how best to transfer game information soon, so that means from your old 3DS XL to the new one, and also we can see here one of the colours is this red colour. Also, it has got a longer battery life than the previous XL and the previous normal 3DS also, now they are using micro SD cards, and it will come with one that's 4 gigabytes. and then just showing the difference between size, and the NFC stands for Near Field Communication, but of course for short, as you saw earlier, NFC. And this is the two colours it comes in, red and black. Never mind. Anyway, of course it will be... Op uh, yes, worldwide for everybody, so America, and that side of the world, and Australia, um, and also for Europe, like people like me in the UK, I will be definitely picking up one of these, and then here's the logo, it's just basically called the new 3DS, if you get the small one, and if you get the bigger one, it will just be called new Nintendo 3DS XL. Faster download. Okay, so I hope you like that new news about the Nintendo 3DS XL. And they still haven't changed the name. I don't know why. I don't know why they just put the word new in front of it on the list. We have got some more news about code name Steam. I believe that's why. Okay, on to the next bit of news being news about codename Steam, Amiibos will be able to be used in this codename Steam game. I'm not sure particularly why. I'm not sure if it's just a Fire Emblem character. So as you can see here is Ike, Marth, and the release date is March 13th. Okay, I hope you like that brand new news about codename Steam. Number nine on the list. To a Now, the new 3DS XL, it doesn't just come in those two colours, the XL version by the way, doesn't come in just those two colours you saw, there's also a special Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Edition of it, so let's show you. Okay, here, okay, here as you can see is a special edition of the new 3DS XL, so that's the one with the C-Stick that's coming out February 13th, and it's a Monster Hunter 4 ultimate version so how do you like this new silver color and also it will be coming out same day as the regular colors on Z list we have got some more news about a game that i didn't personally know existed till the nintendo direct called ace combat it's coming out this year i do believe and as you can see by this first image you will be able to use amiibos i'll be able to use fox as you can see here and get some sort of Star Fox jet. We got a Link one, and it looks like a Skyward Sword design by the top of it, and Ace Combat Assault Horizons Led... does that say Legacy Plus? I think so. Uh, available February 13th. Okay, number 11 on the list. This is very exciting now. 11 on the list. We have got confirmation of what characters, what costumes, and whatever else is in the special Majora's Mask DLC pack for Hyrule Warriors. Okay, everybody, this is a character that's going to be in the Majora's Mask DLC for Hyrule Warriors. And the first one, of course, as you can see on your screen here, is Tingle! I know many people are going to hate this. Hey, picture of Tingle using, I guess this is a special attack, where his balloon blows really big, and then it pops into all colourful hearts and ribbons on the enemy and my tool. And here's another picture of Tingle running up to the enemy. And the second last character 
in the Hyrule Warriors Majora's Mask DLC is Yun Link. He has got that sword that I always forget the name of from Majora's Mask and the Fist Deity Mask, but also on his head you can't see on this screen because it's actually on the ground by his feet is the Keton Mask. And to show you this image, where you'll get a puzzle game based on Majora's Mask, but also three new costumes. It looks like Sheik, Skull Kid, not sure which mask he'd be wearing, his actual skull mask, or maybe the Majora's Mask, and also it looks like Lady Impa, new costume. Mind you, I'm not sure why they bother having a Skull Kid costume when he's not even in the DLC. Maybe another one later. But here's the official thing you'll get when you go to buy the DLC. So it's got this deity mask. Link will be able to transform for a short period of time into the Fist deity. And here's some sort of really big special attack. Then here's young Link. Okay, I hope you liked that news. I know some people won't be too pleased with the first character being Tingle. Last but not least on the list, we have got new confirmation images of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. And uh, now, if you remember, the one boss battle was changing. I don't think it's just one. It looks like three out of four have been changed. I'm back and is the special limited edition version of the game that people will be getting in North America with the Skull Kid figure instead of like the pin badge and the double sided poster. So, you know, Skull Kid figure box game. And then here's. It front ways out of the box and also in the box still and here's it fully out of the box so here is the bombers notebook and it is given to you I'm not sure if you can see his hands his purple robes or coat whatever you call in rucksack it's given to you by the Happy Masks salesman. Now this wasn't in the Nintendo Direct, I don't think, because I found some new information out this morning that people might already know from a six minute trailer from Japan. I'm pretty sure the Bomber's Notebook was given to you by one of the kids. But anyway, here's a very creepy giant Sheikah Gossip Stone, I think it's a Gossip Stone, as in all Korea's time. You go in it, you get these visions of the future and tasks. Here's the next task, as you can see on the bottom, is the new countdown clock of the three-day cycle. But also here, we've got some sort of new save point mechanism. It's the Frog Mask, that, yeah, definitely was in the original game, but I don't particularly remember it looking like this. I know it's all new 3D and stuff and graphics, but it looks different to me somehow. I don't know why. A image of Link attempting to get things like trues. Yeah. Here's another image. I think this is Terminal Fields, I do believe, of Link and Epona. And the uh, Georg Bell has been changed because, and he's got this massive eyeball coming out of this mouth. Like, what's up with a hat? And here's the inventory screen that you'll be greeted by. So, got rupee, some sort of camera, and this is the Lizard Force, I believe it's called. And I don't remember it being in the Majora's Mask game again. Like I said, I've, but this. Is so cool. This is the brand new 3DS XL as well as being the two normal the colours of the consoles, you know, default ones and the Monster Hunter one. This is the special Majora's Mask edition. Here we have got the Fist Deity, bomb right, bomb left, Goron, top left, the Deku Scrub, the middle, Majora. And here's an inside look at what it looks like. Beautiful black on the inside, gold on the outside, I love it. And also on the top right, the Zora mask. So, And this is what it looks like. And it even has pre-installed software. But the 
owl statue with glowing bright blue eyes. I don't remember this. And anyway, what a boss bell has been changed. He's got the same eyeball as Georg had in his mouth, but this time on the top of his head. Like, it's really weird. Frog creature? No idea what it's called. I'm not sure if it was in the original game, but please, somebody tell me what this thing is! And this is the twin mold fight. I can't tell which of the twin molds it is because, of course, because it's twin mold, it's two different serpent sand snake things. And again, the same eyeball. So, like, when Nintendo said they were changing the boss fight, I didn't realise they meant they were changing three boss fights. Here's another image of Link using the... I think it's the launch creature. Of, might have been in the original game, might have not been. But anyway, this is the inside of the stone tower. And here's young, and he's actually speaking to the creature. It's based off of, of being the Keton. And in the name of the four giant protectors of Termina, what is this? Boulder rock creature with one tooth. What? Release date, February 13th. So that's for the normal edition of the game. Both limited edition versions of the game. So the one with the Skull Kid figure for North America and the other one with the pin badge and double side poster for Europe, but also the actual special new Nintendo 3DS XL console of... Okay, I hope you liked all that to lovely new so Direct. So, thank you everybody for watching. Remember to leave a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and put your thoughts about what you're looking forward to this year in the comment section down below. But also, remember, tingle, tingle, kula, lim. Met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs>